Hey, what's going on YouTube today? I am just going to be making a video showing you how to make a custom Destiny 2 wallpaper for your computer using your own Guardian in Destiny 2. So first thing what you're going to want to do is just start up Destiny 2. Alright, now that you're at the character selection screen, I've already done my warlock, which is my main character, so I'm going to be doing my hunter for this video. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just hover over it, that way it's selected, move your cursor off the screen, and hit print screen, and then Destiny will take a screenshot, Alt F4, close that out. Now you're going to want to open paint.net. So this is the warlock that I did, but we're going to make a new one. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I made a new one. We're actually going to be opening up a file. Don't pay attention to me. And you're going to want to open up the screenshot that you just made. Now, we're going to use the magic wand tool. Select the background. You're going to want to tune it down until it only has part of the circle selected. Looks like 19 is going to be your guy. Now for that part down there, I believe what I did last time, I just used an eclipse select. Got it pretty close. I just made sure it was on the edge of the circle. That's I will have to extend it more. Okay. Magic wand to invert. Don't know how I did that. Ah, 100%. That's why. Select and it'll invert all around your uh, selection, which I messed up. So let's undo that. Need to make sure you get the feed in here. Alright. Now go back to the magic wand tool and invert the selection using this right here. And just delete. Okay, I want to drag that to the center. Um, that looks about centered enough. And then, so just like in this one, you're going to want to try to remove some of this background. But we'll do that in a second. First, you're going to want to select the light color, switch, and then now you're going to want to select the dark color. Switch back. Gradient tool, add new layer. Now we're on the background because I dragged it below. Okay, that's backwards. So I'll start from the bottom. So just like that. That way we have a gradient over the entire background. And you're going to hit effects, noise, add noise. Turn color saturation all the way down, and then turn intensity down to about there. That's where I like it. And now you're going to want to select this, go to lighten, hit OK, select your tool, turn this way down, delete, delete, delete. Now I left the rings on mine, but if you wanted to you could remove them. Um, you don't even have to use this tool, you can just select them and remove them. But if you can, you can just mess with the tolerance and only select the uh, the rings. But I like them kind of, so I'm going to keep them. Now you could just use this, it wouldn't look that bad. But I'll show you how, <clears throat> in my opinion, you can make it better. So now we're going to hide this. 
then we're going to select, um, let's say here, for example, and turn that up a little bit. Probably right about there. I think that'll look all right. Delete. And now you only have this bit on this layer. So you're gonna wanna make that visible again and select the layer that we were just working on where it's only part of the hunter or whatever class. And you're gonna wanna click, I believe it's reflect. And it kind of makes it look, I don't know, kind of cool. I like the effect it gives, especially for like uh, glowing items. You can also change the opacity so it's not as strong. But if you put it all the way down, it's not there. But, uh, I don't know, I kind of kind of like it right about 170. I think that looks good. You can toggle it on and off to see the difference. See that at the bottom? We're just going to delete that. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So there is your background for whatever character. Now it is kind of harder if the uh, character is wearing very dark items, like you can't see his legs. But honestly, I think it looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna just leave it like that. But just like with the other one, without the top layer, it just looks like that. With it, it looks like this. I think it looks nice. And that's how it looks on my background. But in order to save it, you're gonna hit File, Save As, PNG, and then just save it as a PNG file. And I'm gonna do one more uh, real quick uh, for my Titan, because I already have a screenshot from my old Titan. So we're gonna do one more. And there we go. There's my Titan. There's my Hunter. And there's my Warlock. Now, we need to save this one. I didn't save this one either. I just showed you how to. Save. I'm just saving them as PDN files because that way I can come back and edit them if I want. Now we are going to select this layer, copy, I want my warlock in the middle, I want it behind that, so, try it right there. Just deleting some of this background. There we go. I don't know. Maybe I should make it smaller.
Because I want it to look like the warlock standing in front. Now I'm going to select the top layer, which adds the effects. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Hunter. Well, one. Which is also going to be behind the warlock on the other side. Make it smaller. Uh, probably about there. Fact. Now select this. Paste. Oh, I forgot to make a new layer. My bad. New layer. Drag it right above the actual hunter layer. layer, select this, to reflect, did it change at all, I don't think I have it in the right spot, no I don't, that's why, reflect, there we go, now we have all three classes and all three of my characters in one wallpaper, and you just save that as a PNG file, and there you go. And also, if you wanted to, you could add another layer like right here. You'd probably just do lighten. So it's like a light gray. Mm, maybe not. But yeah. So, if I wanted to, I like just my warlock, but if I wanted to, I could set this as my wallpaper, or this one, or this one. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and you guys, I'll see you in the next one.